like, oh, sorry, I'm talking, y'all. Look, I love this panel. We are back with Chris Davis and Kristen Chenoweth. Give it <laughs> So all, I'm a chatty Kathy today. All hour, we have had young Jude hanging out and playing with my band, y'all. Um, so he's amazing. Obviously, Kristen is mesmerized with as well, but um, we first met Jude just a couple months ago when he was here with his dad, Isaiah, and for such a young kid, he's already overcome so much. Just take a look. So Isaiah, Jude, he had a rough start, right, in the beginning, right? Yes, he was born a, a premature, and um, he had uh, heart surgery because oh. of uh, uh, low oxygen levels, and uh, he had G-tube. It was first in his, uh, his nose. He kept pulling it out, so they had to put it in his stomach. So he was feeding through his stomach for until he was eight years old. Yes. Wow. Yes, and uh, he was later oh. diagnosed with autism. Yeah. So this, this has been, you know, that's why we are so thankful to God for uh, blessing him with this uh, special talent. Yeah. Yeah, because um, it's been a tough road. Jude, do you, do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Is it something involving with music? Well, I want to do music professionally, and I hope I can write songs. I'm getting closer. I love that. Yeah. Well, my music director, Jason Halbert over there, he is an incredible pianist, and we've been working together for 20 years now. He literally can play any song, I swear to you. I ask him all the time. <laughs> um, and he, he plays on the show. He's, we've written songs together, many songs that were like oh, number wow. one on the radio. Wow. So he's a great songwriter as well. Wow. So Jason has offered to mentor you Ooh. to help develop your sound. So he's going to work with you to arrange music and help with your writing. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> we are so honored to shine a light on Judo. We love him, not just for his drive on his talent and awesome personality, but also because as part of Autism Awareness Month, this is important, and he is proof an autism diagnosis doesn't have to hold you back. It can actually push you forward. He's incredible. I know Jason agrees with this, and that's why he was quick to get started with mentoring Jude and helping him learn songwriting. So not long ago, Jason actually headed to Colorado to hang out with Jude at home. So check this out. We're in Denver, and we're heading out to go visit Jude. I thought it would be best to do this first one one-on-one -on -one and just to get to know him a little bit better. My main goal today is just to figure out how his personality is and just sort of what his learning techniques are. Good to see you too. Jude, how are you? I want Mr. Jason to teach me how to write an original song. When did you start playing, Mr. Jason? I started playing around six years old. It was very similar to you in that I had no lessons. Oh. And um, when I was a kid, I was diagnosed autistic, which oh. as you know, there's many different types of autism, right? Oh, and I'm autistic too. Yeah, and my son is as well. Oh. But there's different, you know, everybody has it a little bit differently how they think. So, um, so I spent a lot of time by myself and um, my mom had to work long hours. And so a oh. lady next door used to watch me. She had a piano and I taught myself how to play piano. I pinch myself every morning. I can't believe that I get to do what I love, music, for a career. And I, I see the same thing for Jude. He has such a future ahead of him. The only thing I hope to be able to show you is I would love to know that when you're playing something, uh, we can learn a little bit of theory as to why certain things work. Yeah, and That's gonna help course. you in your songwriting down the road. Uh -huh. Different musicians see music so many different ways. I personally, I use the number system. It's what I grew up learning and it's helped me with Kelly because it allows me to change the keys on the fly without thinking about notes. So I wanted to get a sense of how Jude sees music for himself and if using the number system might be one of the techniques that I could teach him. You probably know this from jazz, but we can go one, two, five, one, two, one, seven, two, one. Or we can go to one, two. I quickly started getting a sense that Jude is so much more advanced than I was even thinking. That's the one five minor. That's the one. Jude told me he's really interested in writing an original song, and that's something I've had a little bit of experience with, so that's what we're gonna do. I heard you've already started on a song. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And do you write lyrics as well, or you just kind of focus on the music? I just kind of focus on the music. I want to write about hope and faith. Everyone can use hope, and so that's and a good- the good times and the bad. Absolutely, so that's a good universal topic. I'll see you soon. We're gonna be on Zoom together, uh -huh. and so we're gonna have lots of more fun. Yes, I'm gonna bring in some writers, and then if you need anything at all, your dad has my number. Feel free to call uh -huh. me if you need to, or text of me, or course. Zoom. I'm there for you. It's cool.
get to hear him start on his original song. It's a really beautiful song. I can hear where he's going with it. It's a little complex for pop. We're gonna really simplify some things down in the verse and that way the chorus can shine. And um, yeah, we're, we're gonna make it so that he shines and whoever's singing it shines at the same time. I was just so impressed not only by his talent, but um, such a fun kid to be around. And you can tell he comes from a really great home. And uh, man, what a, what a joy. That's all I can say, he's a joy to be with. performing all hour with my band, y'all. Jude is here on the couch along with his daddy, Isaiah. Hello. And my music director, Hello Jason again. Halbert. <laughs> Hello again. Hello. So it's great to see y'all again. Have you met Chris and Kristen? Y'all can say hey. Oh, no. Hey, Jude. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so Jude, what was it like having Jason at your house, like come over and help? Wow, it was awesome. The lesson was good, and I wanted to write about hope and faith and uh, the lesson was good. Yeah, that's that, that's like you're you started in like Christian music, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah we talked a lot about we we were a lot of similarities, uh, you know, because as you know, I was diagnosed autistic at the time. Now yeah. we know it's a spectrum. So yeah. I put all my stuff into music and grew up in church, and that's how I learned to follow people with different kind of timing. <laughs> that's why I've been able to play with Kelly. So you're excellent. But with me. so I really related to Jude, and like I, you know, we we got a lot of time to talk about songwriting because because uh -huh. I can't teach him anything about piano. Like when you said mentor, I thought, oh, I'm gonna show him some things. Like the kid is true level prodigy. And so I gave up real quick on that. And he was like, don't worry, I'll teach you. That's what you told me. Yep. I love, well, you can both learn from each other. I think that's artists of all ages. We're always, when you stop learning, then you just kind of die artistically, you know? <laughs> like, you, it's just boring. You know, you always want to be learning, so that's cool that yes. you're both learning for each other. So Isaiah, I mean, as a musician yourself, like, what was it like watching Jason work with your son? It's been so special to watch because somebody like Jason, you know, they, they have something that they say, uh, time is money. For somebody like Jason with all that expertise to pour it into Jude. And uh, he's learning about a lot of stuff. Yeah. He's teaching him how to read, um, write his own music, the modulations, br making bridges, and he's learning a lot. Bridges are my favorite, by the way. Uh huh. Are they yours too? I think so. It's like my favorite part of a song, because mm -hmm. you switch it up just a tiny bit, and you're like, oh. And then it comes back to what you knew. It's like nice. I like a, I like a bridge. Have yeah. you ever had like people in your life that were great mentors? Like you know how Jason is with Jude right now. Have you ever had that? I had a great teacher at my college, Oklahoma City University, named Florence Birdwell, and she's the one that told me you don't have to just be a gospel country singer. You can be, you can be an opera singer. You can. And she didn't let. She didn't have me in a box. So I want to say that to you. You can do all that music. It impressed me, kid. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the limitless thing is yes. nice. Did you have that? Well, I, honestly, I thought about that, and I, I, I have a lot of people who I call my angels, um, who along my journey taught me new and specific things as I grew, because I needed more. I needed more as I grew, and some people only had enough knowledge for this time in my life. Yeah. And there was another one that helped me pivot, and then another one. So collectively, those are my angels. I wouldn't say just one. And that's really good, surrounding yourself with people that make you a better version of you, too. That's yes, like, yeah. absolutely. Lesson 101 in friendship, that's awesome. So Isaiah, you have something that you want to say to Jason, right? Yes, um, we are so very grateful so to thankful. Jason. And uh, we say God bless him so much because, again, he spends his time to fly all the way to Colorado <laughs> yeah. to, you know, looking at, at where I come well, from. Well, Colorado is awesome. <laughs> I know. Yeah, looking at where I came from, Ghana, and to see all this going on, it's it's it, it, it's so huge for us, and uh, we will forever be grateful to Jason, the whole team, and then especially you too. Oh my gosh, no, it's the coolest thing for us. You know, we've been in the industry for a minute, even longer than I have, and it's, man, Jude, I can't say this enough, like, to we're still students, you know, and we've been doing it for a minute, but still to have you come on, this kid come on and, like, school us a bit and uh -huh. teach us and inspire us. It's yeah. a really cool thing to just have that creative outlet that just you get to trade that energy with other people. <laughs> but I know, I know that Jason, you have a surprise for Jude, so tell him what it is. Yeah, I do, when I was visiting your house, I know we talked a lot about songwriting, and a big part of songwriting today is production, and I know that you're getting into some things like that. Yes. And I thought, well, what can happen? I can't be there all the time, but maybe I could give you a tool to help that process. Mm -hmm. And so I went out and got this for you. I've got you your own laptop, which we're gonna get logic here on here. And we're gonna work on your song on this. Thank so. you so much. 
Share it with your brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah. That's a music making tool. All right, well, this is hardly the last time we're gonna see Jude on the show. Once he and Jason finish their song, we are bringing Jude back to perform it in person. We are very excited about this. And I'm gonna decide who's gonna sing. All right, I like it, I like it.